Cubal, welcome back to the channel. My name is David. Today, we're talking about my top five accessories for the X100V. Um, quick disclaimer, actually two things. Number one, I'm not gonna talk about batteries or SD cards because chances are if you already bought a camera, you probably bought an extra battery and an SD card. And number two, I personally use OEM batteries. I never put any third-party batteries in my cameras because a cheap third-party battery might not deliver the correct voltage, thus frying the internals of your expensive camera. So always use first party. And lastly, I bought all the accessories with my own hard-earned money, so I am not sponsored by any of the brands showcased in this video. So without further ado, let's just talk about accessories. The first accessory on this list is the Haug THB X2B thumb grip. Coming in at $24, this thumb grip slides into the hot shoe and gives your thumb a proper place to grip the camera. It's as plain as thumb grips go, but for the price, it does its job. And it doesn't block access to the rear dial on the X100V, which is awesome. My only gripe with the X100V is that the grip and leatherette suck. I feel like the camera could easily slip out of my hands. But thankfully, JJC makes a grip that remedies this problem and doesn't make the camera any bulkier. What I love about this grip is that the tripod mount still gives you access to the battery door and is Arco Swiss compatible. Overall, the build quality feels solid, although the leatherette on the grip itself feels cheap. This little ring is the first of two pieces that you need in order to fully weather seal the X100V. At $15, it does its job and is significantly cheaper than the Fujimade filter adapter, which comes in at $80. The adapter also comes with a dope screw-on lens hood, which helps protect the lens. However, if you use the built-in flash, you will see some vignetting in the corners of your images. To remedy this, just simply remove the hood and you're good to go. The second piece needed alongside the filter adapter in order to fully weather seal your X100V is a UV filter. Nothing more to say because it's just a filter. Also, I personally love using the B plus W or Hoya filters on my cameras, but you don't have to buy this filter in particular and can probably find something cheaper on Amazon that works for your budget. One of the coolest things about the Fujifilm cameras is that the threaded shutter button. This allows you to add your own custom shutter release button. Reason you might want to add one is so that the shutter button is elevated, thus easier to press to take a photo. Otherwise, the camera works fine without it. Now, this is a bonus accessory and it's totally up to you and your needs, but I personally love to shoot 50 millimeter for street photography. So I decided to pick up the teleconversion lens for the X100V. This is the version one, but the only difference between the version one and version two is that the version two has a magnet that automatically tells the camera what lens it's using for the XF data. Otherwise, you could simply just turn it on or off in the menu and there's no moving parts to this. It's just a hunk of glass. So all the autofocusing and heavy lifting comes from the really good 23 millimeter F2 lens on the X100V. To attach it, all you do is simply remove the filter adapter, thread it onto the camera, and you're ready to shoot. Fujifilm also makes a WCL adapter, which converts the camera into a 28 millimeter equivalent focal length, if you prefer to shoot wider. And that's it my top five accessories for the Fujifilm X100V. Now it's your turn. Comment down below and let me know what are your five accessories that you recommend for the X100V or the X100F or whichever X100 series camera you currently own. As always, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, double tap the dislike button twice. Trust me, it works. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Hasta luego.